Today I'm going to go over how you track an order that you've already placed. This is going to be a way for you to track payment on multiple items at one time. And this is going to show up as a purchase order and a bill payment in QuickBooks Online if you are connected. So let's go over how you track an order. First thing I want to share is that when you first start sending purchase orders on a project in Material, you can customize the PO number. So if you wanted to change this here, you could. I've changed it to Sharp to match the project, Sharp Avenue. The next thing to note is that as items are approved by your client, they're going to show up here as an auto-drafted purchase order organized by vendor. So uh, as you can see here, I have one from Tile Bar and it has one item. Of course, this may have one item or this may have 50 items. In this case, I've gone and I'm placing an order online. And so I want to record a payment that I've already placed or I'm in the process of placing. So I'm going to click this one and you'll notice that when I open this up, I do see options here around checking or unchecking product that I'm ordering um, in case you're maybe only ordering two of 10 things. And then also I'm going to go ahead and attach a receipt here um, for this product. Now you can do this optionally on the next step as well, but this is just going to help this is if you've already, you know, placed the order and you have the receipt, and you're just trying to track it. You can go ahead and do it here. Once I record the order, it's going to open up this uh, modal here where it allows me to see that receipt that I've added as well as see my product. And I have a few options here that I can select. The first thing I want to call out is up here at the top. This is the ship date. So I can select the estimated ship date for these products. And then I can also come in and customize what I actually paid for this product. If let's say my shipping charges actually were less or more, if I ended up paying tax, et cetera, anything with this little pencil means that you can edit it. As far as payments, what you're going to do now, since you are placing this order online is going ahead and tracking that payment. Optionally, you can add an additional receipt if you need to, but you don't have to because you already have the invoice in this case. Uh, the payments and doing multiple payments is often very useful when you're sending a PO to a vendor and making multiple payments on it. Most of the time when we're ordering online, it's going to be kind of a one and done situation. All right, you'll also notice that when I am tracking a payment, if I'm connected to QuickBooks Online, I can go ahead and select the payment method. And this is great for reconciling bank transactions or credit card transactions of my firm with things that I'm purchasing. So that's going to help do that automatically if you are connected. I can also note here if I paid any type of transaction fee, which again, it's just going to help my accountant or my bookkeeper keep up with those. All right, so I'm going to hit save and then I'm going to hit confirm. And what it's actually going to do is move it all the way over to the fully paid column. And that is because I have uh, confirmed it. I've tracked a payment on it and it is ready to go. So now you'll see that it has my expected ship date as well as information about payment. Now, if I want to view this uh, purchase order in QuickBooks, I'm going to go to my finances tab and then expenses. And here you'll see that I have my purchase order. It is synced over. There is a $0 balance on it. And then I can click this little link icon to open it up in QuickBooks. All right, so I've opened this up in QuickBooks. You'll see that it has the purchase order. It also has here a linked bill. So I can go and view this bill. And this bill is going to have the product information. It's going to have that attachment that I added to it originally in the bigger, uh, you know, right hand side. If you have additional payments as well, those will be linked here. So that is how it syncs over to QuickBooks Online. Uh, further questions about our QuickBooks integration, we have a whole collection or videos on that. And now when it comes to tracking an order on Materio, that is as simple as it gets. You can do this um, for groups of items as well as individuals. If you have any other questions about how to track an order in Materio, you can always reach out to us at hello at and we'd be glad to help.